this could have been a really rough day for mm -hmm. people in Oakland, particularly A's fans. And it ended up being not so bad. And we were going to do this interview either way. Yeah. But what is your reaction to what transpired last night in Nevada with the bill not coming to a vote? Well, you know, uh, I think that that was expected from our side when you start jamming things in, yeah. you know, uh, last minute. I mean, the legislatures are part time and they have so many other bills that they need to review. And let's be clear, they were voted by the residents. And um, at the end of the day, they're going to want to look at how this will affect their constituency. And so it makes sense that it didn't pass. Yeah. And let's just say right now your office phone rings mm -hmm. it's john fisher it's the a's they want to come back to the table now do you take that call absolutely you know 100 percent take that call you know i would cancel my meetings and have a <laughs> meeting with them you know we, because we were so close yeah we were so close to a deal and i truly believe that the a's should be rooted here in oakland that's what the fans deserve that's what the many generations that have been going to oakland a's game that have those fond memories, mm -hmm. and that's what our future kids deserve too, is the ability to cheer for the Oakland A's here in Oakland. Follow-up question, would you let me listen to that phone call? Live? Yeah. No. No, <laughs> <laughs> no absolutely not. I would try, you know? but you'd have to yeah. like kick me out of here. Yeah, you know, um, you know, I'm, <laughs> You know, I'm very respectful in regards to like how I work with anybody who's trying to, um, you know, do business here in the city of Oakland. Mm -hmm. And of course, that's going to be some candid conversations and, uh, you know, and that has to be done in private. Yeah, obviously that I was joking. Of yeah, course, of but, course. <laughs> um, the the silence was a very important factor, though, in your negotiations. And I remember I was hard on you at the time, too, yes. because everyone was saying, why are we not? pushing this? Why are we not talking about Howard Terminal? Mm -hmm. Why are we not talking about the A's? And they asked you not to, right? Mm -hmm. And conversely, they also weren't talking. So, I mean, why was the silence such an important thing once you took office with them and you? Absolutely. Um, so wanted to correct one thing is that I was the one who requested that okay. there be silence. Yeah. Um, I did not want to negotiate via the media. Mm -hmm. I know that that creates a whole different, you know, um, variable in regards to negotiations. And for me, it was about, do we have a deal? Right. Yeah. Let's stop playing games. You know, we're all on a tight timeline. Time is money. And so uh, let's figure it out. And I was told by John Fisher face to face that, yes, I like that. Mm -hmm. How about we not, uh, you know, negotiate in the media and let's figure out if we have a deal. I'll send my people, you send your people. And that's what we were doing. Yeah. You know, we're meeting weekly, you know, really pushing forward around negotiations having heartburn on all sides, really yeah. including the port as well too. Yeah. Um, and so it was really disheartening when I got that phone call late that evening from Dave Cavill. Yeah, and I'm gonna get to that. And I, but mm -hmm. I wanna first just stay on this one point in that if they did come back to the table, how quickly could something get done here? Because there's a lot of dates thrown around mm -hmm. and now you're seeing, they were talking even 2028 ballpark opening in Las Vegas mm -hmm. if they did build the nine acre ballpark on the strip. So. Could Oakland, being as close as, as you guys are to a deal, get something, shovels in the ground quickly? Absolutely, right? Because what we did was we already fast-tracked everything. Mm -hmm. And so you have a, a Howard Terminal that is fully entitled, has gone through the EIR process, gone through CEQA. The only thing left was around the infrastructure, around the pedestrian and vehicular uh, crossing. And that would have to, we would have to work with the railroad with that, mm -hmm. right? But that was the last missing piece. And so with that being said, we could break ground as soon as two years. And if you had a partner willing to negotiate, willing to get this across the finish line, let's just say John Fisher for fun. If they decided, okay, maybe we don't need these 3,000 housing units right now and all this commercial real estate right now, maybe we just first build a ballpark and maybe it's a parking lot until we can figure out the rest. Does that make it way faster to get things done? Absolutely. I mean, I think that that's what exact, exactly what happened in San Francisco. And so it was that parcel first, building out the stadium, and mm. then really looking at the um, adjacent land parcels. And so it would go a lot faster if we were looking at just building out a stadium. Yeah, you'd have no affordable housing battles, all yeah. these other things. You could just get a goodwill gesture done, and then at least you'd have some something building to maybe then knock out the 3,000 housing units, right? That's absolutely right. Mm -hmm. Now, let's go back. You mentioned it. It was April 20th. 
I believe. <laughs> I remember it really closely. <laughs> I just got home. Yes. And then I saw the, the article from the Nevada Independent with the quotes from Dave Cavill, with the quotes from Rob Manfred. And we mentioned earlier, I'd spent a lot of time trying to get a hold of you. I'd spent a lot of time trying to get a hold of the A's. Nobody would give me any quotes, but here they are mm -hmm. in an article right now out of nowhere in the middle of your negotiations. What were those phone calls like that night? You know, um, everything was so optimistic. It felt so optimistic up until that moment. I was driving home from an e uh, a work event, mm -hmm. and uh, we're actually in that moment. I was I saw one of the building trades leaders, and we were like, you know, it sounds like we are headed towards a deal. We we're really optimistic, and when I received that phone call from Dave, I mean, it, it was hurtful, mm -hmm. right? And so uh, he was just like, hey, heads up, you know, um, it leaked, and I <laughs> yes. wanted you to know. Yeah. And I'll be quite frank with you. I said, it leaked. Okay. And so I got off the phone with it was really quick. And um, a few hours later, I got a call from John Fisher. And uh, to hear out of John Fisher's mouth saying, you know, unfortunately, I have to make a decision and we're going to just focus on Las Vegas. Mm -hmm. And so with that being said, we had to walk away from negotiations. There was no if, what, but, when, right? I mean, if we said that we were going to see whether we had a deal or not, and if we were serious about it, then that's what we should have been working towards. And we were very close to it. I would say um, probably two days away from an actual deal. Mm -hmm. And so for me, that's not a real partner. That's yeah. not a real partner. That is actually um, a, a, someone who is trying to leverage and play both sides to see which deal was best. And um, if you are claiming that you're rooted in Oakland, like you have to i get that it's business too but if you're rooted in oakland you should give us a fair shot yeah and i remember i, I texted you and when i got your statement back i was just reading it okay negotiations walking away and to me i was the first one i went on social media that mm -hmm. night and i said this is a brilliant move mm -hmm. everyone else was like hair on fire freaking right. out but to me it was you walking away from the table was like really hard i'm sure it yeah. probably was a scary move but now you look at what's happening in Nevada mm -hmm. and they could not get to a deal with a vote. And had you not walked away from the table, they could have used Oakland as leverage, right? That's right. And, and you know, and I refuse. I refuse to have um, anyone use Oakland as leverage so that they can then leave our city, leave the fan base that has been loyal to them, even to this day. With all the ups and downs, we have such a loyal fan base. Even with all the increase in uh, ticket costs, mm -hmm. you know, um, all the barriers that have been put at our feet, including non-investments into our team. And so because of that, I had to stand up. I had to stand up for Oaklanders. I had to stand up for the Oakland A's fan base mm -hmm. as well too. And that was me standing up and we stood up strong. And I feel that we're standing up strong yeah. together. <laughs> yes. Yeah, now looking at the situation now, you know, I'm sure a special session item will come up in Nevada or something will happen. And even if they do vote it forward, it doesn't say Oakland A's anywhere. It says Major League Baseball mm -hmm. on the bill. And so that to me leaves some hope. But, you know, after walking away from the table, again, it almost went a little bit back towards the silence end. And I think that a lot of people see that and go, oh, they're not doing anything. Mm -hmm. they're, they're just sitting there and I don't care about Oakland A's baseball. And I think in reality, you, you can tell me, but chiming in speaking up being very aggressive about oakland a's baseball while they're trying to close this deal in mm -hmm. nevada doesn't that just hand them the leverage right back well that's exactly <laughs> right yeah. you know and I, I'll, and i can tell you right here right now that i have been doing so much work in the background i mean uh, i did not make it easy for them to try to push this legislation through i've been mm -hmm. in contact with legislators out in nevada you know i was just at the conference mayor uh, this past week and i've been on the phone right picking up the phone calling all the different people calling the different labor unions to really um make it so that it's harder for them because we want the Oakland A's here. I'm yeah. fighting for the Oakland A's. The fans are fighting for the Oakland mm -hmm. A's. And um, why not here in Oakland where it's diverse, one of the most diverse cities in the nation. And I know MLB has this great concept of wanting to diversify its, its fan base. Mm -hmm. And so we need a baseball team. We deserve a baseball team. And we want the Oakland A's to be rooted here, whether it's with this current ownership or with the new ownership.
Now, do you see this date, the 6-5 date, it's come and passed where the Nevada legislative session is officially closed? Again, special sessions could happen, but is this the gloves can come off a little bit here? This is this is counterpunch time for the city of Oakland? Well, you know, again, if John Fisher or, in, or MLB wanted to give me a call, like, I'm here to pick up. I want to be a strong partner. You know, it's not about ego. I don't mm -hmm. have an ego when it comes to this. It's truly about, um, you know, me wanting to fight for the city of Oakland for its residents and the A's fans. Mm -hmm. We all deserve this. You know, we have a strong deal on the table. And I and I think that it's only fair that we're given an opportunity, an opportunity to really move forward so that we can keep our baseball team here. This is one of my favorite subjects, but Commissioner Rob Manfred. Mm -hmm. uh, he said he was gonna call you. I don't know that he ever has called you. Did he ever call you? No. And as far as the A's are concerned, is it true that they did not want you to reach out to the commissioner without them? Correct. So how does that really help him understand the situation here in Oakland? Because when I look at his comments, mm -hmm. and I look at all of them, mm -hmm. as you know, uh, I don't see that he really understands where the deal actually stood. So is there some way you can help him understand? You know, absolutely. <laughs> Again, you know, um, I'm more than happy to, you know, to pick up the phone call if the commissioner calls me. Mm -hmm. uh, he has not yet called, you know, um, you know, the reason why I agreed to not call the commissioner was because I was being a good partner, right, through negotiations. I mean, sometimes you have to take those risks. And I felt that at the time it was a good risk to take because I wanted to show John Fisher and Dave Cavill that I'm a good partner to work with, that I am fair and that we were going to be able to work together to come up with a deal, which again, we were very close to, um, you know, reaching that deal. And so, I mean, who wouldn't want, you know, all of this uh, space at the Howard Terminal, right? This is waterfront property. Mm -hmm. This is not in the desert, it's waterfront property. You have an amazing uh, a place for, uh, where you have this like, really positive and strong rivalry with, you know, the San Francisco Giants. Yeah, just stare and right across the bay. Right. <laughs> and then not just that, but let's not even talk about, you know, the market, mm -hmm. right? The TV market here. And so uh, it, it's huge. And so why wouldn't you choose Oakland where you're already based out of, where there's a huge market for you, where you have a strong fan base, you know, counter to what anybody else is saying, uh, you know, and when you have a city who really wants you to be rooted here. What did you think when you saw that instead of owning a stadium and property on 50 plus acres on the water, which frankly, waterfront property is hard to get, That's right. they ended up pivoting to nine acres on a site they don't own in a ballpark they wouldn't own? Yeah, you know, I mean, I hate to say it, but you know, we've always known that they've, um, you know, they tried to leave Oakland to go to San Jose, that didn't work out. They tried to leave another time, that didn't work out. And um, I can't help but feel like this is a little bit personal because like the want to leave Oakland seems to be so massive, but I refuse to allow for our city to, um, to say, yes, we give up, like you can finally go. But at the end of the day, it's, you know, uh, again, this is massive waterfront property. It's, you know, the weather is beautiful. Not just that, but we're gonna be able to build out at 35,000 um, 35, uh, seats, right? For the fans. Mm -hmm. And uh, where uh, Vegas is only 30,000. So, with, with a retractable roof, which is not cheap. Which right? is not cheap yeah. at all. And we, like you said, in the terms, it's any, it's any uh, MLB team, mm -hmm. right? And so with being here in Oakland, I think there's just so much that we can do to be true partners with each other. And again, it's not about the ego at all. Like I'm here for the conversation. I'm here to uh, really figure out how we move forward. And again, we would push it forward. We already found so much more funding than they were mm -hmm. asking us to find, right? They were asking us for $360 million. We found $375 million with another $100 million pending uh, through grant funding for our infrastructure yeah. you know and uh, this is infrastructure that we need anyway uh, here in the city of Oakland to ensure uh, pedestrian safety and vehicular safety and so why not you know why not just stay do you think in any way and I know I've, I've reached out to all the grant people mm -hmm. I don't know if I'm using the right term grant people mm -hmm. I'm a sports guy uh, I've talked to all the offices and they said the first one's supposed to come in June mm -hmm. but um, the first of two pending, the $100 million you just mentioned. Do you think that them not being at the table right now hurts 
the opportunity to actually receive that remaining hundred million dollars because if the A's do leave you get to keep all of that mm -hmm. right and you That's need right. it for that area regardless mm -hmm. yeah no it has nothing to do with whether or not the A's are here again it is we're we're getting it for uh, pedestrian safety mm -hmm. right from the railroads for our railroads and really making it making sure that there is a separation between yeah. the railroads and the pedestrians yeah. and so uh, it's not a we, we're not depending on whether or not the Oakland A's are staying here I am out in DC in Sacramento lobbying for my city um, and you know making sure that they understand that no matter what this is funds that we need right we're at grade the rail is at grade meaning it's really dangerous for especially now that we're growing in Jack London Square mm -hmm. and they understand that they understand that and they want to make sure that we are keeping people safe yeah, I've been down there. It can be a little scary when the train yes. comes by. And let's not forget that that's our goods movement uh, transit as yeah, well, Yeah, it's too, pretty right? important. Yeah, we have a port, and all the goods need to leave, right? Yeah. And if we can't leave because there's an accident or what have you, it really backs up all of our import exports. Let me ask you this, because you talk to everybody, you know, government-wise, and mm -hmm. I've reached out to Governor Gavin Newsom a whole bunch of times, and his people are always fantastic, but he never gives me a statement so mm -hmm. the question is, what is he doing behind the scenes, if anything, to help you out with this? Oh my gosh, he's been such a tremendous partner. I must tell you, he's been such a tremendous partner. He really believes in this project of keeping the A's rooted in Oakland. And we wouldn't be able to do this work without the governor, without the, uh, Senator Skinner, without Assemblymember Mia Bonta. I mean, he may not give you an actual quote, <laughs> but just know yeah. that he's been a super supporter of the project. And without him, we wouldn't be able to be where we're at today. Yeah, because in Nevada, Governor Lombardo, he, he likes to talk. So he does. it's kind of the opposite here. And I guess it's another example of don't think silence is an action, right? You know, that's exactly right, because a lot of times we're doing a lot of work behind the scenes, right? Mm -hmm. and, and let's remember, this is politics. So this is a lot of people to people work, right? Yeah. And so just because like I'm quiet, that doesn't mean I'm not doing anything, right? The same thing goes for any other elected official. There's a lot to be done, especially when you care so much about a project that sometimes speaking out too much could be problematic, as we have seen. And so, um, you know, making sure that you're doing your due diligence and doing what your residents hire you for, Yeah. right? That's going to be key, whether that's silently or out loud. Now, I know we talk off the, off the record, behind the scenes. Uh, I mm -hmm. saw you at a charity event the other day. You took a yes. picture with my daughter. It was awesome. It was a great yes. event. Um, but I would like to know, I'm very respectfully full of your time, so I'll, I'll wrap it up here pretty quick. But mm -hmm. June 13th mm -hmm. is coming around. A's fans are doing a reverse boycott. Uh, it's starting to get a lot of traction. They've organized a ton of money to actually do their own fan giveaway. I've never heard of that before. Do you think people are going to see you at that June 13th game, perhaps? Well, I want to just applaud uh, the <laughs> Oakland A's fans. I mean, these are the kind of fans that you want. And so um, they are inspiring, and I am so grateful to have them um, here in the city of Oakland and beyond. And in regards to the reverse boycott, you know, you'll just have to see. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I'm so proud of the Oakland fan base, and I just want them to know that I'm fighting for their Oakland A's, I'm fighting for our Oakland A's. The Oakland A's are a family, mm -hmm. and they belong here in Oakland. And I'm not going down without a fight. Yeah, well, hopefully we do see you there. I'm going to be out there covering it. Uh, I think it's going to be a crazy scene. It's going yeah. to be it's going to be weird and fun in all the right ways. I'm sure. In all the right ways. <laughs> yeah, just the it's the Oakland way. Yeah. Right. Oh yeah, for sure. <laughs>